On May 3 this year, the China Space Administration launched an impressive lunar exploration program and successfully launched the Chang'e 6 probe to the moon. After entering the lunar orbit for 24 days, the probe finally landed successfully in the South Pole region on the back of the moon. After working on the lunar surface for two days, Chang'e 6 completed the survey of the lunar topography and geological background. With the completion of the mission, Chang'e 6 also returned to Earth smoothly on June 25. At the same time, Chang'e 6 also brought back a precious gift, 1935 grams of lunar soil samples. According to the plan, these lunar soil samples will be shared with 18 countries and organizations around the world, including India, Russia, Pakistan and some European countries, but the United States is not on the list of sharing. In a recent interview, the director of NASA even claimed that he hoped that China could share lunar soil samples with the United States free of charge, because the resources of the moon belong to the commonwealth of all mankind and should not be owned by any country alone. So, will China share these lunar soils with the United States? What amazing achievements has China made in exploring the moon? If you find today's video interesting, be sure to subscribe to the Insider Truth channel so you won't miss any exciting videos. Now let's get into today's topic. The Moon is the closest extraterrestrial body to the Earth, with an average distance of about 384,000 kilometers. Humans chose the Moon as the first target for extraterrestrial exploration, not only because it is relatively close and easier to explore, but also because studying the Moon can better understand the formation process of the Earth. As early as 1969, the U.S. Apollo 11 spacecraft successfully brought humans to the surface of the Moon and brought back lunar soil samples from there. Subsequently, scientists discovered through research on the lunar soil that the Moon has rich material resources. Among them, lunar rocks contain all the elements in the Earth's crust, and there are about 60 kinds of minerals. It also contains helium-3, which is not found on Earth, which is an important raw material that may become nuclear energy in the future. Although there is some controversy about the authenticity of the lunar exploration of Apollo 11, this mission undoubtedly opened up the extensive exploration of the moon by humans. Today, both technological powers and other countries are working hard to accelerate their own lunar exploration programs, and China is one of them. Since 2007, China has started its first lunar exploration program, successfully launching the Chang'e 1 satellite and accurately sending it into the predetermined orbit. After about 14 days of spaceflight, Chang'e 1 successfully entered the lunar orbit 200 kilometers from the lunar surface. The main goal of this mission is to conduct global high-definition imaging of the Moon and to detect in detail the distribution characteristics of various useful materials on the lunar surface. In November 2008, China released a full lunar image with a resolution of up to 120 meters to the public for the first time, marking the complete success of China's first lunar exploration mission. Subsequently, in 2018, China launched the Chang'e 4 probe again, opening its more complex lunar expedition. Unlike the previous time, this time, Chang'e 4 successfully achieved a soft landing on the back of the moon. This feat made China the first country in the world to achieve a soft landing on the back of the moon. However, China did not satisfy this, but further stepped up its lunar exploration in 2020 and successfully launched the Chang'e 5 probe. This time, the Chang'e 5 landed on the front of the moon. Its mission is to collect samples of the soil on the front of the moon, laying a solid foundation for future manned lunar missions and deeper space exploration. During the return to Earth, Chang'e 5 successfully brought 1,731 grams of lunar soil samples back to Earth. This is also the first time that China has brought back such a large number of samples from outer space. Seeing China's achievements, India seems to feel unwilling. In August 2023, India successfully launched the Chandrayaan-3 probe and achieved a soft landing on the Moon making India the fourth country to softly land on the moon after the United States, Russia, and China. 
This achievement surprised the whole world, because in the eyes of many people, India has always been regarded as a technologically backward country. But in comparison, China's lunar exploration program has achieved far more scientific results and technological breakthroughs than India. In order to further deepen its understanding of the moon, China even launched the Chang'e 6 probe again in May this year. So, what important tasks did Chang'e 6 accomplish on the moon this time? As far as I know, China's Chang'e 6 probe successfully landed in the South Pole region on the far side of the moon 24 days after entering the lunar orbit. In this mission, Chang'e 6 not only has to conduct a detailed exploration of the South Pole of the moon, but also collect soil samples from the far side of the moon and bring them back to Earth. After two days of exploration on the far side of the moon, Chang'e 6 successfully detected charged particles excited by sunlight in the southern part of the Apollo crater, and also collected data in the cliff area on the south side of the Luko Antony crater. With the successful completion of the exploration mission, Chang'e 6 returned to Earth smoothly on June 25 and landed successfully in Inner Mongolia. This news has attracted worldwide attention, because China's progress in exploring the moon is so fast that it is even far ahead of the United States. However, what is more remarkable is that Chang'e 6 also carried 1,935 grams of precious lunar soil samples on its return to Earth. According to the plan, these lunar soil samples will be shared with 18 countries and organizations around the world, including Russia, Pakistan, France, Germany, and some Nordic countries. Even India and Japan are on the list of shared lunar soil. However, the United States, the world's largest space power, did not appear on the list of cooperation. In response, the director of NASA in the United States proposed in a media interview that he hoped China could share these lunar soil samples free of charge. He even emphasized that the resources of the moon belong to the commonwealth of all mankind. Therefore, the samples brought back from the moon by Chang'e 6 should also be shared with countries around the world, including the United States. So, will China share lunar soil with the United States free of charge? As we all know, the United States has always been the world's number one in the field of aerospace technology. From the manned lunar landing mission of Apollo 11 in 1969 to the last lunar landing mission of Apollo 17 in 1972, the United States sent a total of 12 astronauts to the moon and brought back a total of 382 kilograms of lunar soil samples from there. These lunar soils have always been regarded as national treasures and are still strictly preserved in NASA's special laboratories. Only authorized American scientific research institutions are allowed to use them for research. At that time, China and the United States maintained diplomatic relations, so the U.S. government specially presented China with a one-gram lunar soil sample, which was regarded as a symbol of friendship and respect at the time. China also attached great importance to this precious gift and only kept 0.5 grams of it as a souvenir, while the other 0.5 grams was used for scientific research. However, as China's space industry flourished, international competition and restrictions also increased. In 2011, NASA introduced a policy known as the Wolf Clause, a piece of legislation intended to curb China's space development by cutting off potential channels for cooperation. Under the pressure of this isolation, China accelerated its independent innovation and technological independence. In the following years, China successfully built its own space station, the Tiangong Space Station, and completed a series of complex lunar exploration missions, including the Chang'e 6 Lunar Surface Sampling Return Mission. These achievements also forced NASA to reassess China's space capabilities. Now, NASA's desire to obtain lunar soil samples collected by China's Chang'e 6 is simply an international joke. After all, China's space program has never listed the United States as a direct partner, so the United States' desire to obtain these lunar soils will naturally not be included in China's consideration. In addition, under the restrictions of the Wolf Clause, NASA cannot establish a friendly cooperative relationship with China in the field of space. This legal framework clearly hinders the sharing of key space technologies and data between the two sides.
If the United States hopes to obtain lunar soil samples collected by China, they need to take practical measures to eliminate these cooperation obstacles first. Among them, the abolition of the Wolf Clause will be an important first step. Only by removing this policy can the cooperation between the two sides in the field of aerospace science and technology be restored and developed continuously. With the successful completion of the Chang'e 6 mission and its successful return to Earth, China has also set new space exploration goals. It is planned to launch the Chang'e 7 probe to the moon in 2026. Its main task is to survey the environment and resources of the South Pole of the Moon and find water, ice, and other substances. As of January 2023, the China National Space Administration has received 18 letters of intent for cooperation from 11 countries and international organizations. In the current plan, Chang'e 7 will carry a spectral imager jointly developed by Bahrain and Egypt. This advanced equipment will be able to accurately identify and analyze the various material components on the surface of the moon. In addition, China has also developed a laser corner reflector array with Italy. The deployment of this array will greatly improve the detection accuracy and measurement capabilities of the moon from the Earth. China also plans to carry a probe designed by Russia, which is specially designed to measure the magnetic field strength of the moon and analyze the composition of dust. If the mission of Chang'e 7 can be successfully completed, China will become the first country in the world capable of assisting other countries in exploring the moon. So, do you think China's space capabilities have surpassed NASA? Before we end today's video, remember to hit that shiny subscribe button. This way you will receive more insider information on projects as soon as possible. Looking forward to sharing with you next time.